Hey, welcome back to our Tips for Tuesday. This week we're going to start a series on toes to bar. So one of those skills that uh, in the gym, sort of hard to, uh, to, to progress into, but we're going to give you some simple progressions and some ideas on how to build up that core strength, midline strength in order to do effective toes to bars. So this week we have Andrew in the house. Andrew is sort of our residence gymnastics ex expert here, uh, coach over gymnastics, etc. Say hello. Okay, so we're going to show you exactly what we're looking for, and then we're going to take you and show you some progressions and how to achieve what we're seeing right here. So the first thing he's going to show us is uh, what I like to pe have people do is strict everything. So you should be able to do strict pull-ups, strict handstand push-ups, strict muscle-ups, strict toes-to-bar. So strict gymnastics works before you go into the kipping and speed progressions. So the first thing he's going to show us is a strict toes-to-bar. Okay. So we're going to, from a hang position, go ahead and show us two reps. All right, so that is what we're looking for, is for the toes to actually touch the bar, okay, and then come back down. Okay, so that is a strict toes to bar, which means there is minimal, if any, swinging in the torso while he's from a bar. Okay, the next one he's going to show us is a kipping or gymnastic style toes to bar. Um, and for those of us that are blessed with hamstring flexibility, he's going to show us a straight-legged one, okay? Okay. One more rep. Good, all right. So that is a uh, straight-legged toes-to-bar. Um, and then for those of us who are not fortunate enough to have Andrew's hamstring flexibility like myself, um, is it, it, going to show us a what we call just a, a kicking or a leg-flipping uh, toes-to-bar. So go ahead, let's do three reps of that. So here he's going to bend his knees and then kind of flick his legs up. Okay, good. Awesome. All right, and that's also in terms of um, uh, speed, efficiency, and if you're in a time type of workout, multi-rep toes to bar, that is probably your best route to go on um, so that you can move a little faster. Okay. All right. So that is what we want to look like for toes to bar. All right. If we don't have that, okay, if, we don't have, if we're not able to get our toes to our, our, the bar, here are a few reasons why that might be happening. So our limitations to toes to bar uh, can be one, if not a combination of all four of these things. You can have weak lower abdominal muscles. You could have poor thoracic spine mobility. All right, we've covered that extensively in uh, previous uh, tips for Tuesday is how to increase range of motion in the T-spine. Uh, number three, weak shoulder girdle muscles, so your scapular thoracic muscles. And then four, uh, tight hamstrings. But again, on that last progression there, we sort of showed you a way out of that tight hamstring piece there. So I would say these three right here are going to be the most important pieces that we need to work on. Okay, so for this week, this episode, we're going to show you some floor progressions first, all right? So it's, when I show you these progressions here, uh, Andrew demonstrating, uh, we need to make sure that we're able to do these first before you attempt toes to bar. It's a whole cart before the horse type of thing. If you can't do these, okay, uh, before going to toes to bar, you're just going to get into a situation where you're going to be on that bar flailing around and eventually it's going to cause um, some type of injury. All right, so we're going to take it on the floor here. Um, Andrew's going to show us first uh, a hollow hold. So in the gym, I, I will program hollow holds and hollow rocks. And in every class just looking around, we always see individuals who have trouble getting in this position. So we're going to show you or coach you up on exactly how to get into this position and exactly how it should look. All right, so Andrew's going to lie on his back. Okay, and the progression is this. Okay, the first thing that we want to make sure that we do is you take your belly button and you press it into the ground. So everyone has, go ahead and lay back and relax. Everyone has a natural lordotic curve. So if we pull this shirt tight, and if the camera can see that, right, there's that curvature here, and there's space between the floor and the low back. What we want to do is we want to limit that by taking your belly button, pressing it into your spine, and then taking that further and pressing it into the ground, and you're trying to close that off. Okay, we call that neutral spine. All right, once you can do that, all right, we know that you are activating the lower abdominal muscles. All right, okay, so go ahead and relax. All right, now to get into the hollow hold position, what he's going to do is he's going to bring his knees up here. So he's in a 90 degree position here, 90 degree position here. Okay. Then from this position here, he's going to lift his shoulder blades off of the ground, all right? And, you, and now we got that how, that this position here where we don't have that space here, okay? His arms are up over his chest. So the progression is this, maintaining shoulder blades off of the ground, 
uh, low hips off of the ground. He's going to take his arms and raise them over his head and tuck his ears into his biceps. Okay, and then he's going to take both legs and come straight out, maintaining this position right here. That is a hollow hold position, so it should look like a banana type of shape right here. Okay, all right, go ahead and relax. Yeah, we should be able to hold that for about 45 to 60 seconds. All right, that's the progression. We want to build up to that. All right, if you can't hold that position for 45 to 60 seconds, uh, I would say toes to bar, probably not in your arsenal at this point in time. All right, so again, that's the time frame for that. All right, now we're going to take it a step further as he's going to get into that hollow hold position and show us, let's just do five hollow rocks, okay? So he's going to get into that hollow hold position, leg straight, arm straight, and he's going to start rocking back and forth, all right? And it should just look like this right here. Okay, so not a lot of bottoming out here. And bottoming out meaning, go ahead and relax. Bottoming out meaning every time he goes back, there's like a quick pause, and then he has to restart. Okay, it should be a nice, smooth rocking back and forth, keeping that kind of banana or boat shape situation. All right, so that's hollow hold and hollow rocks. All right, now for the back, so that's the anterior chain piece right there. Now there's a posterior chain piece, so he's going to lay prone, so down on his stomach. Okay, and from this position here, some people call this Superman's, right? But what we want to look at is, can we get into a bow position? All right, so this is a bow position. What he's going to do here is, the progression is, he's going to take his glutes, squeeze them together, and he's going to lift his legs off of the ground so his thighs are off the ground. So there should be some space between thighs and the ground. Okay, from here, he's going to go ahead and lift his chest and arms off of the ground, and there's our bow position here. So we have glute activation, hamstring, glute, low back activation, all the way up through the scapular thoracic joint. Go ahead and relax. Okay, so that is our bow position. All right, go ahead. You can go ahead and stand up. Okay, so those all three, all these positions here, we should be able to do again for 45 to 60 seconds, right before you get into the toes to bar position. Just real quick, I wanted to show you guys what that looks like and how that transfers into the toes to bar or hanging position. Okay, so I would say let's go get a side view of this. And Andrew's going to go. You ready? You need a little. You need a. You need a blow. We're good. Okay, so he's just going to hold a position. He's going to hang. Okay, show us a good shoulder scapula thoracic. So you can see how he did that. Go ahead and relax. Just hang. Okay, we don't want to look like that when we start toes to bar. All right, he wants to pull himself up. Okay, and that's all scapula thoracic folks right there. Okay, show me a hollow hold position. Okay, so from a hang position, this is a hollow hold position right here. All right, and you can see from here, it just transfers into toes to bar from that position. Okay, go ahead and relax. Okay, so that's our hollow hold laying on the ground on our back position, transferring to hanging on the bar. Okay, and then the last piece is, what does the bow position look like from the hanging position? So Andrew's going to hop back up. What's that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Good, Good idea. Okay. So what does the extension piece look like? Okay, so go ahead and pull back. All right, and there's our nice bow position here that we see. Good scapular thoracic activation. We got that curvature here. Glute activation going on here. Good. Go ahead and relax. Okay, so again, taking it from the floor, from the hanging position, what does a hollow position and the bow position look like? You need to master those positions first with good scapular thoracic strength and integrity before we can begin into the next progressions that you'll see in the video series. All right, so work on that, and we'll catch you next week.